Why, why, thank you, Paul Miller from the past. That's so nice of you to toss that segment back to me. Uh, so it's interesting, but he, uh, he said something about maybe not having humanoid robots, and I think that our next guests may disagree with that a little bit. So um, please welcome Jean-Michel and Jerome from Aldebaran Robotics and the uh, Now Robots. And Paul Miller, actually. Let's get him out here. So, uh, hi, how are you? Hi. This is hi. Jerome and Jean-Michel. Hello, Jean Josh. Thank you so much for joining you? us. Thank you. Uh, and you remember Paul Miller from the video you just watched six That's minutes of? Nice to see you. Um, this guy, this is the Now Bot. Yeah? That's right. So tell, tell us a little bit about this robot. Well, this robot is the first uh, humanoid robot. Uh, it's, uh, it's a product which is uh, aimed at uh, being a platform for uh, research and education, but also to eventually to become uh, a product for consumers. Uh, but uh, I think Singh is believing uh, before talking much more. Yeah, so, so, we, so this, this robot is, uh, we've got a demo. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a, he can go through a little uh, bit of a program demo. And this, this is like a, a developer's kit for this. You can uh, program these bots. You can get one, program it to do different things. Absolutely. We actually have some video we're going to run in the background here of, of some of the developer tools. But this was programmed, we've got a, a little script here. He can listen, he can, he can recognize people, he can recognize objects. Um, and uh, we're going to have a little conversation, which you guys are letting me do. I think it's a big mistake, I've got to tell you. I'm going to make this robot freak out and attack someone in the audience. Uh, right here, watch out. Did you win the TV? You're going down. Uh, this robot's going to run, run away with it. Um, so let's, let's go through and, and, and show us a little bit. And then we've got another, uh, another bot that does some other stuff. So. Um. so the robot is ready. Wow, there are important people here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. The people over there. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to have a good time. Are you expecting something from me? <laughs> Could you introduce yourself now? Oh yeah. Thanks for giving me a chance to introduce myself. My name is Now. I'm the first fully programmable humanoid robot. I'm autonomous, and I can connect to the internet using my Wi-Fi connection. I can recognize your face, answer your questions, play music, grab objects, and even play soccer like a pro. <laughs> I have close to 1,000 brothers in operation all around the world. Do you need any further information? What are you already useful for? That's a good question. <laughs> I'm useful for research all over the world, in 30 countries. Doctors even think I could be of some help in the treatment of autistic kids. And there's more. Insurance companies want to use me as a companion for the elderly, to read them papers. Help them answer their phone, check on them, and report back to relatives or the care center if required. See? The field of the possible is quite large. And what about edutainment? Wow. <laughs> There's also a lot to be done in that field and quite a few interesting projects going on. I can be your children's best friend and tell them stories. I can even check out on them when you call me by sending you a live video feed of what they are up to and let them hear you say hi to them. I also have a number of games we can play with together. For instance, memory, quiz, or classmate. Can I do something else for you? <laughs> hey, 
You scared me. Don't surprise me like that. I'm not a stupid robot like R2-D2. <laughs> Well, since you enjoyed it, here's the story. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, could someone please switch on the light? Could someone please switch on the light? Don't you know that I'm afraid of the dark? How do you want me to be pro if you keep messing with me? Ah. Oh. So, Come on. Wait, is there more? I'm just kidding. I'm not really upset, honest. <laughs> but you're lucky I'm a good player. Oh. So, so this was this is a demo that. No. <laughs> God bless you. Whoops. Sorry about that. I swear I will try not to disturb you anymore. <laughs> So this is a demo that was programmed for this bot, and he's obviously responding to a variety of stimuli. But this is uh, uh, just one of the things that it can do. You have a, there's a more autonomous uh, mode for these bots as well. We have another one. Where's the other guy? Yeah. Right here. So do you want to start him? You want to bring him over here yeah. and start him up? So, so these, the goal, right, eventually is to make these completely autonomous and uh, kill, kill people. <laughs> Sorry. I, and whenever I see a robot, I can't help but make a joke about it killing humans. You guys, you guys just launched a, a developer program, right? Yeah, that's right, yes. Besides the, the, the job we do with the universities and education, uh, we have this RoboCup where in 2007, now we became the official player of the RoboCup. Today, this robot is for research and education, and eventually we want to move to the consumers. But we believe that such a robot needs to have an environment of applications and behaviors. Like an app and store. Like an app store. And in order to do that, we have decided to create a developers program to recruit talented developers and to, off to offer uh, the possibility uh, to buy the product. We make a, a very strong effort for the price of the product. If, if, now, if I were just a, a, not a developer, yes. if I were a, a school or a yes. laboratory that wanted to buy one of these bots, yeah. how much do they cost? Well, it costs something like $13,000. $13,000 for this yeah. guy right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're a developer, if you're developing applications for it or, or actions for it or a sentient personality, so, how much is it to... So it's, to it's a very different application. This is only for individuals, nothing to do with research labs and education. For if a, an individual developer, how much does it cost to buy, to buy a bot? Well, it costs uh, $4,000. Okay. So we make so this not a very strong effort to go down to $4,000. The price of a really great that. gaming computer. Yeah. Right. Because we want to develop at home, mm -hmm. not in a professional, not in a research. So that's why we are, we are asking them to, 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 come, to come to us. Uh, those guys, they want to participate to the new adventure. So we open to, uh, to our SDK, to our uh, online site. Uh, we uh, support uh, the developers with our uh, uh, experts, R&D experts in uh, Aldebaran. Well, we expect, we expect those uh, uh, developers, this community, to, to gather together and, and, and make the future of robotic, of personal robotic. Be, when is there going to be a consumer version? Like if I'm just a guy who loves robots, but I can't program. We reach the level where the product could be a consumer product. Uh, but still, we need some. Uh, oh. some, some oh my more. God! <laughs> well, what is he doing? I don't know. He just it's difficult to speak. Is that my fault? Yeah. Is he freaking out? I'm sorry. Yeah. I have this effect on robots. Actually. <laughs> and when he so when he falls, he, he kind of protects himself. So yeah, he puts we, his arms yeah. Out. This is something new. It's uh, what we call the, the fall manager. Look, he's not he's not he's not falling like a stone. He's protecting himself a bit a bit like we sh we do when we and fall. And so down. you guys are. are are embracing the open source community somewhat. Like, obviously, this SDK is, is a for-profit uh, application yeah. concept, but you guys are also working with, like, the research, the researchers. We have uh, 300 customers, big universities like uh, Carnegie Mellon, like Harvard University, like uh, uh, Georgia Tech. Materials. They work on robotics and computer <laughs> science in uh, artificial uh, intelligence. But what is very interesting is that uh, more and more uh, human interaction departments are working on it. So it's not only the scientific uh, department, scientific activities around, 
but more about interaction and, and human interaction. And, and you said, you told me uh, earlier that there's a version of this that's about that this, this so, high, right? Yeah, we, we are working also on a one meter 40. Like a uh, human size. Yeah, human, well, but quite human size, yes. That one will be used. Uh, this one will be more for healthcare, uh, as this now mentioned. And military purposes. For elder, yeah, well, <laughs> who knows? Yeah, I, I believe that you are very uh, interested by this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm very interested in no, actually, how, how, how my death trying, will be doled Josh out to me by Josh a, has a military all he's white. trying to equip with robots. I'm trying to build an army of robots. Is that a problem for anybody? <laughs> yeah, why not? All I want to do is uh, overthrow a few governments. and uh, As know. long as they kill each other, there's no problem. Well, <laughs> and a few people. I mean, you know, every, sometimes you've got to hurt. But, uh, but so, so, so these are going to be in the hands of developers. I mean, that's yeah. happening now. Yes. And in the hands of consumers soon. Tw you said 12 so or 18 months. Question, yeah, like 12, 18 months. Yeah. And, and so what is the overall, I mean, what's, the, what's, the, what's your vision for these bots? I mean, these are obviously very advanced. They're very much like, I mean, they're very human in their behavior. Yes. Where do you see this going? I mean, five, ten, you know, I asked, uh, uh, you know, well, I asked before about the TVs. Where well, do you see this in five, well, this ten, is a broad, ten years? Well, this is a very broad question. And... Um, I should say that the, the origin of the company was based on the vision that uh, robots will contribute to the well-being of humans. Uh, not, not murdering. And not, not, not really. And, uh, <laughs> and we want to be part of it, not, not as a mechatronic manufacturer, where we're doing pretty well, or software developer, but uh, as an actor of this uh, human experience. This is very strong. And the second thing is, we have the conviction, as I mentioned before, that robotics will be the next revolution after PC, after mobile telephone. And uh, I remember 30 years ago when people asked, what is it for? What is a PC mm. for? The beginning, nobody knew. Or it was very, very difficult to, uh, to, to, to estimate what could be uh, the impact of such a product. And today, could you imagine your life without a PC, without internet? Very and boring. we believe that robotics will do the same. In different areas, one will be, of course, healthcare. When you look at the demographic uh, of, uh, of our countries, Japan, for example, uh, there are numbers saying that in the year 2000, more than 40% of the population will be over 65 years. So we really have to, to invent new ways of life. Or and, and, and you guys think, uh, like, obviously, the iRobot CEO, Colin Engel, thinks the single purpose robot, at least for now, is the way to do that. But you guys yeah. are obviously thinking humanoid is, is the method to solve that? Well, it's one way to, to solve it. Uh, one thing which is very much different from what we saw before, which we respect very much, which is a tremendous business, uh, we appreciate it, is uh, the big difference is the uh, interactive, the interaction, uh, in fact. And if I had to qualify this product with three, three words, I would say now is uh, interactive, mobile and autonomous. And we believe that the combination of those three factors, of course, with development, with application, this is a product with content. This product is maybe the future of video gaming in some way. It can be the, 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 the avatar, the reincarnation of an avatar, of a video avatar. And, and, and we believe that this, this will be uh, the solution to what you said before. And a maid? Do you think a robot maid would be possible, like a cleaning lady? Yes, sure. So that could put iRobot out of business. Well, I think that's, that now could be uh, one of, of the usage could you, be to, you to vacuum your, uh, your room. The humanoid goes over to the room, but he turns the it turns room on. Turns the room on. <laughs> well, 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 these bots are amazing. Thank you guys so much for showing them. And, uh, and, and we actually have a video yeah. of, uh, tell us what's in the video. We're going we're gonna to show you guys in a second. This product is evolving all the time. And one very strong tool of, of now is a choreograph. It's a group of these robots dancing, it's really impressive. And, and thank you guys so yeah, much for, for thank coming. You. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll take a look and we'll be right back.